help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description. He says, I swear by your glory, your majesty, O my Lord, that I will lead them astray. Now when Shaytan is responding to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with such arrogance, can you imagine he's swearing by the glory and honor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I'm going to lead them all astray. Now in, in, in one setting, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he responds, you know, look, if you lead them astray, then they will go to hellfire and you will go to hellfire. It's not going to take away from the kingdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet ﷺ narrates in a hadith Qudsi that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that if the first of you and the last of you, the human of you and the jinn of you, were as wicked as they come, it's not going to decrease from the majesty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any way whatsoever. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no problem punishing shaitan and anyone who shaitan manages to lead astray. But listen to the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Iblis challenges Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and says, Rabbi bi'izzatika wa jalalika la'udhillanahum or la'ughwiyannahum ajma'een that I'm going to lead them all astray and I will deceive all of them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa izzati wa jalali. Ya Iblis, O Iblis, by my glory and my majesty. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the same things he swore by. لَأَغْفِرَنَّ لَهُمْ مَسْتَغْفِرُونَ I will continue to forgive them as long as they seek forgiveness from me. So I'm not going to stop forgiving them as long as they continue to seek forgiveness from me. And this is amazing because subhanAllah, we're seeing all of these mentions of rahma and maghfirah, mercy and forgiveness over and over again in the very beginning of the creation of man. SubhanAllah, between Allah and, and Adam alayhi salam, Allah assuring Adam alayhi salam that he will have the mercy of Allah the angels praying that Allah shows mercy upon Adam alayhi salam. And now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even assuring the enemy of mankind, the enemy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will continue to have mercy upon mankind and show forgiveness to them. And this is a, a, a powerful hadith of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam, which really illustrates the, the purpose of our creation. Now obviously, we are to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our purpose in life is to serve Him. But why would Allah create us? First of all, that's none of your business, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes those decisions. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says an authentic hadith. He says, لَوْ أَنَّكُمْ لَمْ تَكُنْ لَكُمْ ذنوب. If you were to not have sins. Now is it just not to have sins at all? No. لَمْ تَكُنْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبٌ يَغْفِرُهَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ You don't have sins that Allah can forgive for you. Okay? So you're not supposed to be angels. You're not supposed to be a creation that doesn't sin. The Prophet ﷺ says, had you not been a people that had sins that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could forgive, Allahu bi qawmin lahum dhunubun yaghfiruha lahum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would replace you with a people that would sin so that they could seek forgiveness from him so that he could forgive them subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah loves to forgive. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves to show mercy. That's part of the purpose of our existence is to experience the rahmah of ar-Rahman, the mercy of the most merciful. And this is very important as well because Iblis is turning away from Allah. Knowing how merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, which makes it so much worse. And that's why Ibrahim alayhi salam, when he's speaking to his father, by the way, um, you know, and he's calling his father with all of these different words and all of you know all of these different um, you know methods to bring him back to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Ibrahim alayhi salam says to his father, "La ta'bud al-shaytan, don't worship the shaytan. Inna hu kana rahmani asliya. That shaytan is not just disobedient to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Kana rahmani asliya. He is disobedient to the most merciful." Meaning Allah gave him no reason to disobey him. Allah gave him no reason to want to turn away from him. Allah showed him ultimate mercy and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed upon him a magnificent reward. So it's not just, you know, it's one thing to be rude and disobedient to someone that, that, that's not very nice to you, right? Which in and of itself is not praiseworthy. But, you know, let's even put the human elements of this. If someone, let's say your parents, if you have a parent that's not very nice, you know, you still owe them obedience and you still have to, uh, you, you still have to show them respect and so on and so forth because they're your parents. But it's another level of disgrace when you're disobedient to a loving parent, a parent that really, you know, gave you no excuse to run away from them or to disobey them, right? Even though you technically have no excuses, the sin is even worse when you have good parents and parents that love for you and care for you, 
Okay? So when you're talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you are disobedient to one who is merciful with you, and in fact the one who is the most merciful, right? Then you should be ashamed of yourself. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that, uh, you know, that the heavens would split, that the earth would, 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 uh, rip apart. And da'u lirrahmani walada. That people dare to ascribe to ar-Rahman, to the most merciful of sons. What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do to you? How, you know, what, 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 uh, harm did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show to you that you would feel the, the audacity, that you would have the audacity to disobey him? So shaitan is disobeying ar-Rahman. He's turning away from Allah despite all of the mercy that Allah has shown to him and knowing the quality of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you can imagine how much it's paining him, how it's digging away at him that Allah is still referencing his mercy and forgiveness in this conversation, even as shaitan is fuming. I mean, this shaitan is in, in the peak of anger here. I mean, he's, he's, he's swearing by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he's so arrogant. He's blaming Allah for leading him astray. You did this to me, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, you led me astray. Bima aghwaytani. Because you did this to me, I'm going to do it to them. I mean, he's fuming. He's screaming. He's raising his voice. He's showing utter disregard for the situation. And Allah is still saying that I will forgive them so long as they continue to seek forgiveness. So shaitan actually knows this. Long before he leads Adam salam astray, tries to lead Adam and Hawa astray, he's hoping that Adam salam will not seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and won't repent because that would derail his entire plan. And that's exactly what happened. It derailed everything. Because shaitan knows that Adam salam can still seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with us as well. As soon, you know, shaitan comes to us before the sin and he convinces us that the sin is not that big of a deal. Go ahead and do it. It's not a big deal. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you. Allah is forgiving. He's most merciful. After you commit a sin, shaitan comes to you and tries to tell you that you can never seek the forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That how could you do that? That's the worst sin in the world. How could you commit that? So he comes to you before with wishful thinking, before you commit a sin. And he comes to you afterwards with despair. Because that's exactly what shaitan did. Because he knows that no matter how bad your sin was, if you turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in repentance, Allah will forgive you. So his job is not just to try to get you to commit the sin, but to try to convince you after you commit the sin that your Lord is not going to show mercy upon you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always will show mercy to the one who turns back. My beloved brothers and sisters, Shaitan swears to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the glory of Allah that he will deceive every human being. He will deceive the son of Adam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by his grandeur, mercy and glory that he will forgive everyone as long as they ask for forgiveness. Allah loves to forgive. If there are no sinful people on earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will replace us and He will bring a new nation who will sin and ask for forgiveness. My brothers and sisters, Allah loves to forgive. Allah is the most forgiving. Allah is the most merciful. So don't worry if you have sinned, if you have mistaken, if you have faltered. We are weak. So we will sin and by this I am not encouraging to sin but in our nature as a son of Adam we might sin, we are not perfect but whenever you sin turn back to Allah and ask his forgiveness, he will forgive you. Don't be depressed, don't be sad. Don't give up hope in the mercy of Allah. Allah says, لا تكنتوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا Never ever despair in the mercy of Allah. He will forgive all of your sins. Every son of Adam is a sinner and the best of sinners is the one who asks forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, whenever you sin, just remember Allah. Continuously seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do istighfar on a daily basis. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa used to do istighfar over a hundred times a day. 
Whenever you do istighfar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showers mercy, opens the doors of sustenance for you. Allah showers blessings on you and Allah diverts the harms from you. Allah shields you, Allah protects you, Allah feeds you, Allah increases in you. So my dear brothers and sisters, seek repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask Allah for forgiveness and you will find him the most kind, the most merciful, the most forgiving and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you definitely. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description.